This year we have joint valedictorians. On behalf of the senior class of 2023, we would like to extend our greatest appreciation and thanks to the teachers who kept pushing us to do and to give of our best. To Mrs. Cole and our farm teachers, we thank you for being like second parents to us, for teaching us wonderful life values, which I know we all will cherish. To the auxiliary staff, we thank you for keeping this school up and running each and every day. To our parents, we thank you for guiding, helping, and supporting us to where we are today. To the friends we made along the way, we thank you for making our time here at school more enjoyable, wonderful, and a worthwhile experience. Of course, we can't forget about Miss Beckles and Mr. Phillips, who have been our principal and deputy for most of our time here at the Allen School. We thank you for instilling discipline and morals in us. To Principal Scott, although we only met this school year, we thank you for your encouraging words and inspirational speeches. Tiana, can you believe it? It has been five years since we walked through the gates of the Allen School. On that fateful day in September of 2018, we all could probably agree that emotions were high. Some of us were nervous, some sad, and others quite excited. And just like you, I think Tiana and I both could agree that we were nervous upon entering the Allen School gates. But we overcame this challenge like the many others we faced. Speaking of challenges, I think it's fair to say that we all faced quite a few throughout our years at this wonderful school. But we all have one challenge in particular that we overcame together. This challenge not only changed our school life, but also the world as we knew it. I know, we all know what I'm talking about, and it's COVID. But even before this major obstacle, we all encountered and hopefully conquered many more prior to it. In first and second form, some days were better than others, as is usual. However, I believe we can collectively agree that second form, the year before COVID, was the best year we've had at this school. Meanwhile, at the other end of the spectrum, in third and fourth form, our abilities to change and adapt and patient when the, when the Wi-Fi or device were cut out or decide not to work were put to the test. As we were thrust into a new and somewhat foreign learning environment. I know we all heard those signature words from each teacher. Can you hear me? Is my mic on? Then came the return of face-to-face -face learning, but with a slight twist. And sadly, we were split into groups A and B, which meant we would not see some of our friends well. well. However, it was not all that bad, as this came with opportunities like having a conversation with others we had never spoken to. Yes, I know this is hard to believe, but it is true. In spite of the hardships that came as a result of the challenges we faced, I think we can all agree when I say they also brought about some of the most memorable and fun times we've had. Especially that one specific moment which we dreaded on evenings when the bus broke down. But this actually turned out to be some of the greatest memories we shared together. We were all there at some point, some of us more excited than others. Walking up those hills, we had some great laughs and some much needed fun. The Allen School has given us many opportunities to express ourselves through media like athletics, academics, and leadership. For us personally, being awarded the opportunity to be 
from prefects on various levels, such as sub-prefects in full form, then being selected to be interviewed for the post of head girl and head boy was an honor. Of course, this was no easy feat, as we were going up against some tough competition, which consequently resulted in us being selected for the role of senior prefects rather than one of the heads. But this actually turned out to be one of the greatest opportunities and experiences we could have at this school. This it was mainly as a result of the head of not only the Arts Department and Etiquette Program, but also the head prefect advisor, the lovely Mrs. Bascom, who came up with brilliant and fun competitive exercises to encourage and push us to work together as a team and to be the best leaders we can be. We all have set that one particular goal in which we want to achieve in the future. For example, becoming a doctor, a nurse, or an engineer. It does not matter what your goal may be. This cannot be achieved without hard work and dedication. I myself had one particular goal from first to fourth form, and that was to be on the principal's on a roll. I tried and tried, and I eventually achieved it. But it took me four years. I would miss the on roll mark by sometimes just 1%. Other times, pass the mark, but sadly fail the subject. I say all of this because in life, we have to work for what we want. We will not be handed everything. And yes, there will be challenges along the way. And that is reality. But like the many, many other challenges we have faced, we will overcome them. So we want to encourage you today to never be led astray from your goal. And most importantly, to never give up. In the words of Marva Collins, success doesn't come to you, you've got to go to it. As we embark on different paths, pursuing higher education or joining the workforce, let us remember the importance of kindness and empathy. As we bid farewell to our beloved school, let us carry the lessons we have learned, the friendships we have made, and the values we hold close to us. Let us embrace the challenges that await us, for we are equipped with the knowledge and skills necessary to thrive. We would like to express our gratitude to each and every one of you. It is an honor and a privilege to have shared this journey with such extraordinary individuals. As we step into this world, let us not only strive for personal success, but also to create a better tomorrow for all. Congratulations, class of 2023. We've made it this far. Thank you, and may God bless and protect us all.